Hey guys, how y'all doing today? This is Jackie. I wanted to t show you guys how to make which is very, very easy. If you want something new to have at a party as an appetizer, or if you've been invited to a party at the last minute, this is something very quick and very easy and very tasty that you can make. So stay tuned. Red Hots, hot, sweet, and spicy. I have five Granny Smith apples here. I'm going to use these apples because they tart, they stay firm, they don't get mushy when cooking, and they are excellent, excellent for cooking. I recommend these apples if you're going to make apple pies or any kind of cooking with apples. These are excellent, excellent apples. I'm just going to cut my apples uh, here. I'm just going to peel the apples. Um, I don't know why I have that red apple in the back. I must have been talking at the store. But I'm going to use the Granny Smith apples. Okay, I'm going to use my fruit fresh. I'm going to sprinkle that on my apples to keep them from turning brown. This is also great for guacamole, fruit salads, and all fresh fruit. I cut my apples up in squares. Uh, they don't have to be perfect, but you can cut them any way you want to. I have two cups of water right here. I'm just going to add one and a half cup of sugar one teaspoon of ground allspice one teaspoon of ground cinnamon i'm just going to pour that in the water i have my red hots i have one and a half cups of red hots which is about two boxes and you're just going to pour that into the water very gently so it won't splash on you okay you're just going to stir that up until it dissolves very gently oh it smells so good these uh, red hot smell delicious okay you're just going to mix that in stir it up okay you're just going to cook these apples until they get tender I added about four to five drops of red food coloring to intensify that color I'm just going to scoop them in the bowl after they are tender okay and you just want to pour that syrup over the apples oh and oh it smells so good your whole house smells like cinnamon when you make this it smells so good I wish you guys could smell it okay you're just going to cover that up with foil and you're going to leave it in the refrigerator at least three hours so all those flavors could just kiss and hug i bought these tarts uh these fellow shells at walmart um and oh you just want to go ahead and fill it with uh either sour cream whipped cream cool whip ice cream and right here i just use some cool whip some um sweet tarts because this is valentine's day is coming up and I just wanted to uh, get in the Valentine holiday and just add that. Isn't it so beautiful? It's so pretty. I got this. Uh, this is a is a uh, deviled egg holder, and I like to use that as a serving dish. If you don't want to use the um, uh, all the valentine's day stuff you could just have them with plain you could just have the cool whip and the apples the red hot fire now these apples are hot they taste just like red hots and uh you could use uh whipped cream like i said sour cream or you could just have the apples plain okay any way you like it's your choice okay another way you can have these spicy uh, apples is the way I like them is you can have them over some waffles uh, with some a dollop of whipped cream on top and that syrup is delicious on waffles It's hot it's sweet and it's spicy and it's very very good on waffles you want to save your syrup because you could use it again another way you can serve uh, these apples is you could just have it just put a few apples in your yogurt 
which is a delicious treat. You can have some hot, spicy yogurt. I told you that was going to be quick, and I told you that was going to be easy. Now, aren't these very, very tasty, delicious, and absolutely everybody loves them? I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Please do not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Love you guys. Talk to you later to the next video. Bye.